Let someone's heart be uplifted today. Let someone's eyes open today, oh God. In Jesus' name, we give you the glory, honor, and praises. Amen, amen, and amen. At this time, our scripture reading will be read by Sister Cheryl Jones. I believe Luke chapter 16, verses 19 through 31. Our scripture, Luke chapter 16, verses 19 through 31, from the New International Version, reads thusly. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen, and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you receive your good things while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comfortable here and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been set in place so that those who went, want to go the, from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my family. For I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced, even if someone rises from the dead. The word of God for the people of God. Praise be to God. Amen. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for sharing the word of God, and that is the word of God for the people of God, and we all can agree together by saying, Thanks be unto you. God. I want to lift up in that same chapter, Luke 16, verses 22 to 24. I want to lift those passages of scripture up as a reference for our text for today. And as I read it from the New King James Version of the Bible. Luke 16, verses 22 through 24. So it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And being in torment in Hades, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off. Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue while I am tormented in this flame. Thank God again for the reading of his holy word. To lift up those pastors' scripture as 
we sing this beautiful hymn because every now and then it's not this physical body of mine, but it is my soul that need, that is hunger, amen, and need food to eat. God me, O thou, great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land, God me, O thou, great Taken place, amen. There were 
victory and our defeat. Yes, yes. That was also Alfred four days or so later. The announcement was who won the presidential election. The transition began to take place. But the other party, they re are yet refusing to do so. Unlike the election that took place in 2016, it was totally a different story of what we are witnessing today as opposed to what happened a man in 2016. I began to realize that uh, when the shoe is on the other foot, All right, right. sometimes your opponent, sometimes even your enemy, it is hard, amen, it is difficult to even accept the the result. It is difficult even sometimes to accept the outcome of a election. And that's what we want to talk about today and that is when the shoe right, is on the other foot. Yes, yes. In other words, when the circumstance have been reversed. Yes, yes. Amen. Rather than that other person, it is now you or it is now me. Yes, yes. Amen. It is a totally different story I'm trying to tell you when the shoe is on the other foot. I'm excited about the message today because of the fact that as I was getting dressed for service. All right, all right. I began to put on my shoes. Yes. And then when I began to put on my shoes, I had to realize that there have been times in my life when I seen for myself what that when when the shoe when the shoe is on the other foot, uh -huh. you have a different reaction. Yes. Amen. Amen. Everything is different. You can see things a bit different. And by saying even that my sister and my brother, no one knows of your pain. No one knows of your struggles. No one knows of your hardship. No one knows what you had to go through last week ago or even yesterday until the shoe is on the other foot. I wish I had some witness in the house today. It is, it is so easy to, to say that if I was you and if I was in your shoes, I would do this and I would do that. But amen, amen, when, when God has a way to turn the situation around, God has a way, amen, amen, to put you, put, to, put, to put your shoes on someone else's foot, amen, and so we have to be careful, my sister and my brother, we have to be mindful, oh God, uh, how we, how we treat one another, how, 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 how we treat our brother and our sister, we need to be mindful of those kind of things because somebody said a long time ago that what goes around comes around. Maybe that has never happened to, to you before, but it can and it will happen. Amen? And when the shoe is on the other foot, you can identify. You see, so many cannot even identify 
as we as in the African American community have had to what we have had to go through with and even what we are trying or still trying to go through right now. Amen. But unless, I said unless you have encountered or have somewhat experienced of what we have gone through as a African American race. Amen. And then you would feel the same things that we are feeling on a daily basis. How I got a witness in the house today. God again has a way to reverse the situation in anyone's life if, if you will. Amen. I just believe that the uh, this is not just only a man of figure of speech when I say when the shoe is on the other foot. It has a clear meaning. Amen. 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 It, it's, it's more than just a figure of a speech. Amen. For we learn in our text today we are told about a man uh, a, a, a rich man uh, who dressed himself in purple linen, purple garment. And here, uh, on the other hand, we are told of a poor man by the name of Lazarus. Yes, Lazarus, well, he was a poor man. Can't you imagine? Poor Lazarus didn't even have a man. The, right clothes to wear, amen. He was somewhat homeless, homeless, amen. I can imagine, you can almost see him as a small stature, amen. Somewhat, amen, malnutrition. Had no food to eat, no diabetic for days, and days went on into maybe weeks, but Poor Lazarus, he would find himself at the doorstep of the rich man. Amen. And while he lay at the rich man's step, amen, amen, he lay there, amen, amen, just to be noticed, amen, amen, of begging, amen, pleading with the rich man, amen, uh, I, I, I don't want your your real eye state. I I don't want your T-bone state. All all I want is the the crumb that falls from your table and in my own imagination. Amen. Poor Lazarus, he went days and into weeks, and here the 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 rich man would not even offer. Amen. Even the crumbs that fell from, from his table. Now, I was told just a few days ago, amen, uh, amen, it was the world kindness day. Amen. Uh, people, they are showing our acts of kindness. Amen. A uh, world kindness day. Amen. But look at this law's opportunity for the rich man, amen. He could have shown some kind of way of kindness by just allowing, amen, Lazarus to have the crumbs that fell from his table, amen. At least, at least he would have started of go, of, about going or doing a good deed. At, at least Lazarus would have maybe possible could have survived, amen, just from the crumbs that, that fell from the table. Now, my sister, my brother, how often do we have not only crumbs, but we have, God has blessed us with much. We have more than crumbs, amen, to throw out even to the dogs, amen. And how often there are so many who are hungry, no food to eat, amen. How we are truly blessed in every way and in 
everything, but at the same time, some of us has the, the audacity to look down others down through our nose. But I don't think God is pleased with that. But even back to Lazarus, only if he could hang the, of the crumbs that fell from a rich man's table, it would have been all right uh, for Lazarus. At least it would have it would have somewhat feel some of the hunger in his belly, but not so the Bible said just a few days later, a man Lazarus died. And when Lazarus died, Lazarus ends up in the bosom of Abraham. Have I got a witness here? Amen. That's a good place to end up at. Amen. In the bosom of Abraham, the faithful one, the faithful father, the faithful of all nations. In the bosom of Abraham. And the Bible also states that uh, just a few days later, here, yeah, the rich man also dies. Amen. But uh, uh, the difference was that the rich man, he did not end up in, in, in Abraham's bosom. For the rich man, the Bible said, in Haiti, or better like a word, in the hell, uh, he lifted his eyes and he realized that he was not in the same place in Abraham's bosom. So I say again to you, amen, we can see a transition here. And that transition is that now the shoe is on the other foot. All I'm trying to tell you, you got to be careful, my sister and my brother. I don't know who I may be talking to this morning. I don't know who may be listening in this morning. But uh, you don't want the shoe to be on the other shoe to be on your your foot because it's not it's not comfortable. First of all, it's not an easy thing when you leave this world, leave this life, and that's when that's when the rich rich man realized that he should he should and he could, but he did not he did not do neither one. I can kind of see. I can imagine the rich man began to cry out unto, unto Abraham. He said, Abraham, if you mind, if you don't mind, will you allow, allow, uh, allow Lazarus just to dip his finger in the water that he may cool my scotchy turd tongue because of the fact that I am being Tormented, and I just believe that there are those who are listening right now feel the same way that you have been tormented by someone or somebody or something. Amen. There are people in this world that will torment you. There are, there are, there are things in this world that will torment you. Amen. But here. Yeah, Hear, the, 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 hear this man, although Lazarus had been tormented all those days as weeks have gone by, but here now the rich man cries out unto Abraham, will you please, sir, send Lazarus that he may cool my tongue because I am being tormented. But God has a way, I tell you. My sister, my brother, God has a way to bring remembrance back unto us. Have I got a witness in the house? God has a way of helping us remember. He might just say, do, do you remember when? Uh, do you remember when and where? Amen. I gave you an opportunity. I see somebody by your house. Amen. I call, I try to call you and you look at the ID and you're hung up, but do you remember when sister so-and-so or when brother so-and-so, God, I tell you, has a way, amen, to help us remember what we should have done, what we should have done, and but, but we did not do, oh, how I got a witness. So my sister and brother, the rich man realized then of the fact of the matter that he had missed out on an opportunity 
amen, to at least give Lazarus release some kind of comfort. Yeah. Although the dogs, the Bible said that the dogs had love, had compassion, even to lick the wounds, the sores yes, yeah. upon Lazarus' body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But here, even the dogs had more compassion than Lazarus. But it was too late for Lazarus. So Lazarus began to say that, Lord, if you just send one of your prophets back from the dead to warn my other five brothers not to come to this tormented place, if you could just warn my other five brothers to give to the poor even the crumbs that fall from that table. And maybe you could just do that. But this is how the Lord responds in our text. Today, I tell the rich man that, that we cannot do that even though there is a gulf, yes, amen, that is between us, a gulf that separates us, a gulf between heaven and hell, yes, sir. amen, Lazarus can't come over there, you cannot come over here, there's a gulf, but more so, they have Moses, they have the other prophets. And do you not know that if they do not listen to the other prophet, what use, what good would it do if I send one from the dead? I'm trying to tell you, my brother and my and my sister, I tell you again and again and again, if the shoe was on the other foot, will you begin to see things a bit different that you now see things? If the shoe was on the other foot, would you treat your neighbor as you would like to be treated? Would you even remember the golden rule where it says do unto others? And you would have them to do unto you. I tell you, if the shoe was on the other foot, yes. would it make you love your friends? Would it make you love your enemies? I say, if the shoe was on the other foot, We'll make you live from day to day, giving a kind word to someone else. I say if the shoe was on the other foot, I must close here, but I can't leave you until I call on uh, this uh, sister girl uh, by the name uh, of Patty LaBelle. Uh, come on, Patty. Come on, come on. Come on, Patty. Patty, what you got to say uh, about uh, the shooting uh, on the other foot? Uh, well, uh, Patty will say, uh, oh, baby, uh, Sorry to disturb you, but 
when I had to get this all my chairs. I know you've been real busy, don't have time for emotional stress. You see, taking care of home means more than just the rent. It means calling now and then on occasion dropping in and sometimes having flowers sent. Come on, Patty. Well, well, if I stayed out late and then you call, wasn't that to pick up wherever you fall? If I did smile and I compliment you when I should, tell me what would you do if a shoe was on the other foot? Still, what would you do, my God? And that's why I asked the question today in my closing. What uh, will you do uh, if the shoe uh, was on uh, the other foot? Uh, I like uh, the psalmist uh, when he penned these words together. Uh, and you want to know what the psalmist says. Uh, I pray uh, that we all do the same uh, as the psalmist said uh, in the lyrics. Uh, Say uh, if I can help uh, somebody, uh, yes, uh, as I travel uh, along, uh, if I can help uh, somebody uh, with a word or song, uh, if I uh, can help uh, somebody uh, from doing wrong, uh, in my living. Uh, then my living shall not be in vain. That's a good place to be helping somebody on a long way. That when Jesus did, he fed the mother too. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. Yes, he did. Open up. Blind eyes are stopped. Help ears help somebody along the way. That is what we want of you and I. Don't wait. I said, don't wait. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait. Do it now. Do it right now. Oh. Um. 
We thank God for those, again, who joins us in our virtual worship service. Let us continue to pray unto God. We know that we are yet still in the midst of this pandemic, COVID-19, and our more than ever before reporting of illness of the coronavirus each and every day. Let us be on the safe side from day to day. Let us be obedient, not only just for ourselves, but for our family as well as for our loved ones. We pray that you would just do just that. Amen, amen. Father, we thank you again. Now, God, as we depart from this place, but never from your presence, continue to watch over us and keep us in your care. We'll be ever more grateful to give you all the glory, honor, and praises. For these and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 